So basically, this is the Arctoid system, what I got from Rob Extreme Plasma. Um, it's, it's an American made machine. It's, I, I believe it's one of the first of its kind as a, a robot arm. As you can see, this is a small workshop. And what I've done is, this machine can be put anywhere flat. If, if, you, if you've got a truck body and you want to cut holes out there, that could be simply bolted to anywhere you want. It's only, I think it only weighs about 18, 20 kilograms. Pick it up, put it where you want, and it'll go from there. Basically though, this is going to be stationed here all the time for me. So I've per like, built this little uh, workbench for it. Again, using a simple stick welder from Artec. Made it, and obviously, you've got to, once you've bolted down, you've got to calibrate it and get it all level. Hence, you've got all your, your spirit levels, your calibration bracket, but there's loads of videos on YouTube on how you, you, you do that because calibration of the machine to this is different to calibrating it to on a, just a sheet of metal. You, you, there's different ways, but basically it's stationed there. So basically there's no tower. That is your computer. That's, that, that's all it simply is. So all you do is switch it on. Machine takes a couple of seconds to boot up, so it's on there. First thing, all you do is you press home, the machine will home, zero. Basically, you go from there. Right, Lee, I've got a bit of form of the plate here. It yep. could be a panel off a door or anything. Yep. I want you to cut me a hole. I want a hole there. Yep. 20 mil diameter. You want a square there, is it a square? Put, put us a square there. A 20 mil square, okay? Yep. So a 20 mil hole, 20 mil square. If it can just Briefly show how you set your computer up, yep, and then we'll actually do a little bit of cutting, yeah, yep, yep. I think it was 15 mil hole in there, 20, 20, 20 mil. mil hole there, and a 20 mil square, 20 by 20 square there. So you can you, you get other bits with this where you get a stylus pin, um, but I just find it easier. And obviously, I've got a 3D printer, and all I've just done is again just 3D printed a nozzle what simply sits flush onto the torch. So, it just saves me changing this out. You, you don't have to use that, you can use a stylus, but obviously I, I just find this a lot easier. And obviously if anyone ever got one of these from Rob, you go onto the forums and the file will be there for free, I, I would print it off and send it to you. So basically, all you need to do is, so drag the torch to just see where this center, and lower the machine down and just finds it. So there, there's the center. So now the center point of that uh, torch is now in, in the center of the, the mark where John wants the, the hole cutting. So John wants a 20 mil hole. Basically, go to D for dimensions, 20 mil hole, confirm it. You want a three mil lead in, right hand cut, which is the outside, which will make a 20 mil. Entry in, that's, that's now saved there. So now John what needs, so now John wants this square cutting out there. So simply just drag it over, find the, the center of that square, which is there. So now it's central to, this, to the dot where John needs the square now. So basically all you do now is go to the square function, press in. So we want a 20 mil by 20 mil square. So again, inside cut till the origin it needs to be center which will come up there as a cross so that there now is central to that dot there so basically press ok and just go back and now the machine is basically ready you can chuck that torch back over there and it's ready to cut chuck that over there wherever you want out the way and basically, if you want to do a dry run, make sure the torch is off. You don't have to switch the plasma here enough, you just simply just turn the, the torch button off and basically take the little nozzle off and then go to dry run. So now the machine will cut the hole first. Once it's cut the hole, do you have to reposition it to cut the square or does it know where the no, square is? It, it automatically knows it basically. So it, 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 yeah. it, it's, it's logged both those yeah, points. It's yeah, it's logged in. It'll just lift itself up, it'll lift up to a safe position, and it'll go to the square. 
and then it'll just simply cut it out. It's very smooth, that actually, it's, that arm, it's, it's it, uh, it, it is really, really smooth. It must be belts inside there, is it? It's, it is belt driven, so yeah. That's, yeah, there's yeah, no rack there's no, there's no rack or anything like that. The only thing what I can suggest, obviously with this machine is, with it being a one arm system, it, it can cut fast, but I would recommend just going a little bit slower than your normal twin uh, twin wheel machine, like the Extreme Plasma, just so you can get a little bit more, better cut on it. Because obviously if you go too fast, you try you get a pen and you go fast, you're gonna get a little wibble, lot of wibble wobble. But basically, if that's cut out there, you can just simply just chuck it over, and basically it'll be all cut out but now we can cut it out and uh we'll show it working we want to give it a try yeah yeah power up and yeah we'll power it up and yeah we'll try it on Jump. Yeah. right so we switch the plasma unit on now just make sure everything make sure the air fleet's on make sure you got your you cut your your settings for the thickness of the material which is I, i've already got mine saved so basically all you need to do is now is press off the torch and then basically just press run Pretty impressive stuff, right? Basically, it's took it over there, knocked the, the torch off, yeah, so yeah. it's disabled the torch, squares cut out, circles cut out. Right, so I've, I've decided now I made a mistake, I want that hole 30 mil. Can you, can you, can you yeah. change that hole to 30 mil? Can you pick the centre of it here? Yeah. So basically, if you wanted to make the hole, if that hole was meant to be 30 mil, say, but now John's realised that the hole should be 30 mil, not 20 mil. So, well, the sentence where the the program's still on, you just go into trace and you can zoom in. Sometimes a bit awkward. Right. So there's the circle. If you click on it, you can edit it. So John needs a 30mm circle. So now it's turned it to 30 mil. Right cut, entry cut, yep, yep. So now and if John say needed that square 30 mil yet again, you just go, you click on it, edit it. So now that needs to be 30 mil, 30 mil. So zoom back out. So now that now should cut a 30 mil hole and a 30 mil square. So by simply turning the torch back on. It's basically ready to go. These are the two bits this lead just cut. Obviously that's the error, the mistake. I had the hole too small. Uh, the cut quality really is good. Nice square edges. Um, like you say, it is a game changer. So now, I've been sent in this 3D printed part of a guy who obviously he's got a 3D printer but he's got no CNC plasma or anything like that. He wants three of these making out of 4mm and luckily this scrap metal is 4mm. So I'm just going to go through the process how easy it is just doing it simply on this little machine. No complicated softwares, no Fusion 360 what can be very awkward and everything like that. I'm just going to show you how quickly it can be drawn done within a minute and it'll be away. He's given us the dimension, so basically all I've got to do is just put in there. So the center hole, you need a 35 mil center and an 88 millimeter PCD with 110 mil outer. So all you do is you go to the trace function, click on the circle, and it's got an option where it does PCD options. So press that. So now that is central to where the job's gonna be, so you want three holes. So got the three holes picked up in the for the PCD. So now the PCD offset is 88 millimeter. So basically next to the holes, 88 millimeter, them holes there, 8 mil, so 
on a plasma you got to compensate for the, the curve and whatever here so 8.5 mil so now that there is now picked up them so now you want the center hole so click the circle click that diameter there 35 millimeter so there's the inner circle done so right cut outside yeah so now you want the outside 110 mil again click the circle 110 millimeter and you want it on the outside cut so left cut lead in three mil so basically that is the job ready to cut place the center wherever you need it to be basically turn the torch on and now it'll be just basically ready to go I think it's always a good sign your settings are right when the bit drop like that. Yeah, what if it doesn't drop then it's either going too slow or too fast yeah. or it's not cutting all the way through. Because I think also cutting a smaller hole is a test in the side of my setup. Oh it's actually in the thick here like Yeah, that. plus it's only like small holes but yeah. with the right cut setting with and the speed. When you fast up and make one of them with a drilling machine and an angle grinder, you'll be on that one. Oh, even the, doing the outer yeah, circle. Yeah, like you say, like for somebody in a small truck, so you don't know what you do, it is ideal. So basically, it's like one minute from designing it to putting yeah. it. Obviously, the fumes is a yeah. very good part. Yeah. But once you get an extract and test, you it'll be better again. Yeah, I like said, you said you, so. Yeah. So basically, that's now done. Just chuck that out the way. Don't pick it up with your hands. And basically, it's ready to clean up. That, that cut quality is very comparable to my plasma table cut quality.